So next uh, speaker comes from Germany, Smart Membranes. Monica Lelonek, okay, welcome. So the title of the presentation is Nano and Macroporous Membranes à la carte. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to um, tell you a little bit about our company, Smart Membranes. We are a spin-off from a Fraunhofer Research Institute, and uh, we've been founded in 2009. And what we are doing, basically, is... Uh, how do I change to the next? How do I change to the next one? Again. Okay, it's techniques. Um, so we've been founded in 2009 as a Fraunhofer sp uh, spin-off from the Fraunhofer Research Institute for Mechanics of Materials. The main founders are my colleague Petra Göring and me, so we are kind of a female startup company, which is kind of nice in the high-tech sector. And uh, right now we have, uh, it's the both of us, it's the two managing partners and we have four employees which are mainly in the production and R&D. Um, and uh, we are located in the Founders Center in Halle uh, and have our own offices and labs at this moment. Um, what we are doing is, you know, a lot of different membranes and membrane materials, which you can see on the slide here. These are all competitive products and also problems people have if they don't have very excite, uh, ex um, very def definite uh, and precise pore sizes or pore structures, and you need it for some application which was not sufficient with this material. So what we are producing is uh, using our own electrochemical etching processes which we have developed in the company or in the university before is that we etch uh, silicon wafers and also aluminum metal to um, receive nanoporous alumina membranes which are sheets uh, with precise pore sizes in the alumina. It's between 20 and 400 nanometers with a standard deviation lower than 10%. And for the macroporous silicon, as it says, macroporous, we are between 1 and 15 micron, and we can also go higher with a standard deviation even lower than 5%, so we have really exact pore sizes. And these are the side views of our pores, so we don't have any sponge-like structures. We have precise parallel pore sizes and very high aspect ratios. For example, the 25 nanometers pores can be grown up to 100 micron, which is like an aspect ratio of 3,000. And in the wafers, we etch six, we etch six inch wafers up to 500 micron depth. So it's also very high aspect ratios compared to reactive iron etching or other processes. Um, what is special about our um, products that we don't only meet the standard characteristics of different porous materials and membranes, but we also meet, uh, have some unique selling points which only is met by our own technology. So um, we can adjust the pore diameter, the interpore distance, the length of the pores, and the complete porosity on nanometer scale. Um, the products which we have are only, it's not a final product, you can use it for filtration directly, but mainly it's a platform for many different applications. So our main focus is to find customers who develop with us new products in the markets. And these are the ones uh, where we have some um, customers already. It's the bio biomedical, the sensors, also electronics, and the separation filtration market. The main customers also is, for example, coming from the DNA biochip analytics. We have also customers who use our um, porous silicon for fuel cell electrodes, for example. And we have also some new developments for drug delivery systems. So you can see here some uh, applications uh, from this area. For example, filtration separation for sterile filtration, the biosensor or flow-through sensor market, the fuel cells, and also using it as a template, we can use it for nanorods, nanotubes, biomimetics. Um, what we've done so far since 2009, it took us almost two to three years to, to do the complete upscaling of the process, which was not um, very easy. And uh, we have started our own R&D funded projects. And uh, right now, within the last years, we have also um, R&D projects, which are now funded by the customers. So we have joint developments. We have also launched two products, which are the fuel cells and the biochips on the market already with our customers. Um, 
We have uh, distributors in different countries. Uh, we export almost 80% of our production. Mainly it's uh, Japan, South Korea, and the US, Canada market. And the um, sales here in Europe are done by ourselves. And the goals would be surely to increase the number of employees, get more developments, and uh, have a pretty steady company. Um, the main founders is, uh, as I already said, it's uh, my colleague Petra Goering and me. We are both chemists from the electrochemical parts, and we have separated basically our main uh, focus uh, for the two of us, uh, which means Petra is responsible for the production and R&D, and I'm for the sales and financing, even though I'm a chemist, I'm kind of trying to grow into it. And uh, since we are spin-off from the Fraunhofer Society, the Fraunhofer is also one of the shareholders. And uh, what we are looking for are mainly strategic partnerships. Uh, we have right now some silent financing, which means we still have all the shares to the founders and to ourselves. And uh, we are looking for suppliers or customers to do joint developments. And then we are also would like to enlarge the production with these partners and get investments from those partners who are interested in working together with us. So I would like to thank you for your attention. If you're interested in our products or in the company, we have a booth over there. You're welcome to visit me for the next three days. Thank you very much.